Hey guys, this is Jesslyn and welcome back for more God of War Ragnarok. Right, so uh, it's been a while since I last played this game. I think that was uh, July. Uh, as y'all know, I just came back from my trip and I thought there would be some videos that I haven't edited but I just realized that I do not have any more videos for uh, God of War Ragnarok. Hogwarts Legacy and Hearts of Stone, yeah. Except for Warlord Fallen Dynasty, I still have a lot of backlogs for that game, but I don't think you guys are interested to watch that videos, <laughs> yeah. So I decided not to upload that until I have finished upload all these next episodes for God of War Ragnarok. Hogwarts Legacy and the Hearts of Stones. Then only I upload the next episode for Warlong Fallen Dynasty. Yes. Right, so I I do not have time to finish my favors. Yes, there's one favor that I have to do which is this. Explore the Elven Sanctum in Alpha Yeah. I guess I will do this on today's episode because I don't want you guys to wait for so long for me to upload the next episode of God of War. Yeah, so I really hate to keep you guys waiting for so long. I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, so let's go now. Find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Just give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Alright. Okay, so uh, I think this is the one. Oh, fire. Where is that? Ah, here. Let's go. Uh, I don't know which one. Yes, forbidden sense. I need to go there. Okay. Let's go. Alphan, what's there? There may be ravens to hunt. Lead the way. Ah, uh -huh. ravens. Okay, I still have this with me. Nothing appeals Great. to you? Nothing at the moment. Oh, I think I haven't upgraded my skills. Yes, I have a lot of skill points. <laughs> um Okay, this then. I hope I remember these moves. What's this? Okay, yeah. what about range? Press L1 and R1 while barehanded to recall and... Oh... Okay, I want to go for this. Returning stone. Wow, this move is so cool. Okay, this... Wow. 
What about my dual blades? about Freya okay mm. hey, this then archery this duration is nice okay this right okay where else okay let's get on to this brother about the oracles of your land would you say they manipulated events did they have an agenda I do not doubt they held their own interests first but in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. Would that be a specific experience, brother? Hmm. Once, I thought the oracle well, for nice jellyfish that we have to areas. One place has had visions that showed her Olympus would be brought to ruin by the god of war. Therefore, she helped me, intending to undermine Ares and protect her realm. She did not foresee that I would kill him and take his office. In the end, I proved her vision of doom correct. So the Oracle herself brought about the very future she hoped to avoid. I suppose we're in fine company at that. Right. Can I try to hit this from here? <laughs> oh, clear. Cool. Let's grab this. Okay, I remember I've been here before, but I couldn't get to grab that chest because I don't know how to clear those wines. Now I get it, and I did it. Okay, let's go to. Okay, I've always way. wondered why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival. Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freya was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh. Yes, oh, yes. Before my time. You tell. Rold. We will finish later. Oops, I interrupted their conversations. I thought they would continue their conversations even we are walking. Ah. Okay, let's get back to this. And please continue. Freya, oh. earlier you mentioned that Freya was one ah, of Alpine's okay, nice. first visitors. Here to elaborate, I wasn't in these lands at the dawn of realm travel. Well, we believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. 
And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyer believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. Wait, let us look this way. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half, you far. Okay, I don't know how to get through... Oh yes, I can't get through there. Okay, mm. I don't think we can get to do that favor for today's episode because I think we have to get in there. But I also think we need to have uh some special equipments to unlock that. Let's just get down. Oh wait. Ah, oh, it looks as though the light elf sealed off this section of the barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. Okay, the wait, wait. Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela. And another storm to endure. Okay. My apologies. We can get to do this quest for today's episode, and we are finally in this place. Yeah. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good, and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half -pipa. But I have to believe, in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. Okay, I hope this is the right path. The Forbidden Sun. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. What's People look out this? for a cave. Okay. Songs of the Sands. Uh, okay. Where is that cave? I am going further and further. See a bird there. Can I go and hit that bird? Wait. Oh, screw you. Excuse me, Freya. I have something to hit. That bird. Do aim. Ah. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Can I hit this? No, nothing. This place is kind of scary. Where 
So gross. Oh wait. I see Odin spy. Shit. Okay, one more time. heat there then steady nope a little bit higher damn it why is it so hard to aim that green bar Several bad puns late. Ah, oh, never mind. I'll forget. I'll just move on. The other hot goofa must be under there. Where? It's kind of disgusting to look at this. Ooh. Too far away. Okay, thank goodness my mouth is following me. I see an entrance. Okay, this must be it. Let's get down. Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this hop goofa is free. Okay. <clears throat>
Oh, down here. Blocked. Could I reach it from down here? Wait. Ah. This kind of hive material is sensitive to sound. How odd. Right. When I last so came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive matter. Aye, and as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half giver for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. Thank you for your tips, Freya. Useful hints is so useful. Oh. Get away.
I love this so much. You, How many enemies? Oh, that's a lot. appreciated the art from art form of writing things on walls. Some people think them an eyesore but I find them beautiful. Please don't let these wonderful runes go unappreciated. Noise, ladies first, as always. Okay, something to grab there. miss this jazz it's so good to be back here playing this game stress free Oh, 
Nasty hit. You all right, brother? I'm not all right. <laughs> I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face once free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafkufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their life to their children. Right. They will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has that we can live on through our children. Given another chance, I know what choice I will make. I have to free this creature now, but I don't know how. Sorry. And uh, now 
nowhere. Give some hints. stupid idea Try to go to the other side. Maybe here. No. More moments later. did it after I went out came back Oh! 
Temperament, one can imagine this saw a great deal of it's not that I blame him. It's said that some of Alphayam's flora was particularly well suited for recreation. Just one more thing, Vindu Winter took the took from the realm, I suppose. A shame too, I was rather interested to learn whether or not my current bodily situation would allow me to reap any hallucinogenic benefits from Alphayam's herbs. Okay, let's go back up to the surface. Let me go and grab this chest first. to go up okay here this way the fate of these creatures reminds me of a story does it there once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world but no metal could hold such a power so the blacksmith used the flame of is this a story meant to <laughs> Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better story. <laughs> now don't sell yourself short, brother. <laughs> Come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Peter. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Oh, is that At referring to Pandora? Yeah, sounds like it. Uh, her fastest oh. daughter. Yeah. That was from the God of War 3 Remastered. I played that game as well, guys. If you guys are new to my channel, I also played that. Okay, so. Uh, no. We've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. Behind you, brother! Ah, I 
be so fast. Okay. I thought I waste my time to end this storm. Another jellyfish. Full goofa. Song of the sands. If my stories are of no comfort, it takes solace in knowing you Ooh, did you not two jellyfishes are reunited. Do these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. So nice to see them not and not two together. And now neither are they. Both of them are hugging. I can see that. <laughs> right. Okay. No rush to leave yet, is that? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit Oh, they balance. are disappearing. Oh, I see so many tidy jellyfishes. Yeah. Are those their babies? <laughs> okay. At least the sand storm is stopped. Okay, let's go. Let's head back to our main mission. I can't wait. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye. And with a keyhole tailor made for the help we found. No, I'm not gonna spend time on uh, doing that for today's episode. I want to focus on the main story for now first. Suffering back to the topic of prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them, I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, one gets around about that sort of thing. A light elf statue in the desert. Ah, on top of ancient elven ruins? I'd have to agree. That story before of your brother. He said he wandered from the world tree to the lake of souls. It's true. Oh. What is that? I don't know. But we have to find that portal. Mystic Gateway
Freya, that story before of your brother. He said he wandered from the World Tree to the Lake of Souls. It's true. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. <laughs> I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by light and dark elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create the truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. Okay. That was... quite a story from Freya. And here. Let's go back to see Sindri. Yes, Sindri's home. It's time. Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. <laughs> Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, you'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. What is that age that he is referring to? Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? What? Dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Netho has been slain. Ooh. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of lean worms will be a walk in the park. Well then, what else, friends? Okay, let's About talk. Nito, you should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. <laughs> Not all gods show the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Thank you. I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. Thank you. Yes, I will do that off camera. Okay, let's get inside. They're back! Simmer down, I see them. Okay. Let me I ask have you news. something. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? We need the to Norns say Heimdall. Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. <laughs> Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages. I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, 
Go get drop here. Drop here? But we need him. Our supplies. All we got play. And to spare. Even if we did, drop near's no weapon. Why would a Oh. You mean we combine it with That's right. And then when he it'll go. <laughs> Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. What I kind of item is that? Right? Go fetch drop near. Who is drop near? And uh, what is drop near? Okay, let me press circle. Drop near? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Bo didn't blame me for it disappearing. They stole drop near. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. I will help me kill Hartendahl. Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. <laughs> We're our team. But to even store drop near, you need. You were saying. Secret passage. So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood it. No matter what you thought, I understand. My son is in danger. Where is he going? Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... The lady. Ooh. The lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> Kratos, whenever you're ready. Something is wrong with this. No idea what he's on about, brother. Melting rings down for crafting gold, but I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? All right. Let me go and buy that thing again. Resurrection stone. Oh, I already have this. I thought I already used that. Okay, maybe it's because I died and I reloaded from the checkpoint. Okay, so let's 
The elves don't get enough credit for their artisanship. We go to our ah, next gym. time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. No, oh, no, this whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I heard him. What's your breath? I ain't gonna mess up. What the? Keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. <laughs> okay. I don't know why Sindri. What was all that thing? No, oh, just Sindri trying to hog off. Yeah. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Okay. Most likely someone in neither the lair been making. <laughs> I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for. 